Hey, hey, how are you? Welcome to Lady Boss Unplugged. My name is Molly Richards, and I have the honor of being your host for this podcast. Woo! And I'm so happy you are here. Today is a five minute fix, which I will really try to keep it at five minutes. So, this is the kind of podcast that you're like, you know what? I need a little pump me up. I need some motivation for today. I need something good when the world seems to be very stressful, or, you know, you just need a break from the news and all that stuff. So I am so happy you are here and I love this five minute fix because it's literally my recipe and my mom's recipe for a happy life. So first of all, before I start, I want to say thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing this podcast. Thank you for sharing these episodes, whether it's through a text to somebody or maybe you're sharing it on your story on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. I'm so thankful for that. And thank you for giving your review. So be sure to do a review. I love them. You make me cry when I read them yeah, because y'all so y'all are so nice. So I'm very thankful for you. So here's the story. So as I walked this morning with my mama, my mama is 82 years young and I adore her so much. She's a mom of nine and a grandma of, I believe, 13. Mom, if you're listening to this and I got it wrong, I'm so sorry. There's, you know, we've got a huge family and she has more energy than me with all of my sisters and brothers put together. She's amazing. So as I walked with her this morning, we chatted a bunch about life, which we always do. And we love to talk about food and we talk about recipes. So when I got home, I jotted down this super important one, which is a recipe for a happy life. So my mom and I love food, like I said, but we also want to live a happy, long and healthy life. So if it's cool with you, I'm going to give you this recipe of ours and you could adopt a couple of the things or all of them, but I just want to share it with you in this five minute fix. So number one, exercise at least 30 minutes a day. Yes. Every day, at least 30 minutes, pick something that feels good to you. Pick a way to move that energizes you and do something physical that makes you smile. My mom and I were saying like, why do people do workouts that are torturous? No, thank you. Uh, and so a walk is actually magical. I've shared that on a podcast episode already and uh, it, uh, it's easy, right? Throw on a pair of shoes and go. Number two is food. So not only is it fun to make meals from scratch, but it's healthier too, right? So we always say like, don't stress about your food I try not to put stress behind my food and my eating, but I do try to eat balanced. I try to eat the rainbow. I splurge now and then, of course, but I enjoy every bite. Same with my mom. We were like, we don't do diets because for us, a diet is like a four letter word. It's a little bit stressful and it takes the fun out of life. So the next thing is love. That is such an important ingredient to a happy, healthy, long life. And so feel gratitude for everything that you have, for everything that you do, everything that you give, and just love people. All you need is love, right? The Beatles had it right. My mom's a huge Beatles fan, so of course I had to share that here. The next ingredient to a happy, healthy, long life, according to me and my mom, is to find the joy and laugh a lot bring the fun, bring the fun. And like I said, laugh a lot, snort if you must. I'm guilty of doing a snort now and then, sorry. <laughs> I won't do it on this podcast, but you know, a good belly laugh is so good for the heart, for the mind, for the soul. So find a reason to laugh at least once a day. You can do that by talking to a friend, by turning on YouTube, by watching something funny on TV, by reading something funny, of course, by going on social media or just whatever it is. Hang out with someone that just makes you laugh. The next ingredient for this recipe is to be a glass half full kind of person. So rather than half empty, wah, 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 be that person who thinks positively. And guess what? When you think positive, it actually lowers your depression. It actually helps you cope during hard times and it increases your lifespan. So try to be that half full type of person, okay? Half full glass. Next is hydrate with water, okay? This is so important. It is so important for your daily functions of your body, it is just a must. So drink water, like 
as you're listening to this, go have some sip, sips of water and you'll feel so amazing. Many times when I feel lethargic or I have a headache or I think I'm hungry, it's because I'm actually thirsty or I could definitely tell on my skin. If you're watching this video right now, I'm like, ah, I need some water like stat. So drink your water. Next is to love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself so much. It's so much easier to love others when we love ourselves. So it's a, it's a daily thing where you have to check in with yourself. But a way to do this is to choose three things a day that you love about yourself, that you like about yourself. Just three things a day. Tell yourself, hey, I love that you woke up today and you smiled. I love that uh, my hair is behaving today. I love that I have a family that loves me. I love that the sun is shining. Like, I love that I have energy to work out today. Whatever it is, love yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself, okay? Next is to spend time with friends you enjoy. Friends who respect you, trust you, accept you, and just love you for you being you, even as you grow, evolve, and change. Choose friends that enrich your life. They make us feel good about ourselves. They make us feel good about being alive. And what I always say is be the friend that you want to have. Be that supportive friend that checks in with your friends. You know what I mean? You're like, hey, girl, how are you? Hey, I was just thinking of you. Uh, hey, you got this. I see you. I love you. I'm cheering for you. Be that friend if that's the kind of friend that you want. And it comes back. It's pretty amazing. And then another ingredient for a happy life, according to me and my mama, is to be kind, like always, not just when you feel like it, no matter what, okay? And kindness is contagious, okay? Next is to hug it out. Yeah, if and when you can, give and get lots of hugs, like lots of them. My mom gives these amazing hugs where you're just like, oh my gosh, that felt so good. Can I have another one? So don't just tap, tap people, hug people. Hugs not only make us happier, but they can actually help lower our stress throughout the day. What? Yeah. So you have a prescription for hugs right now. I'm giving that to you. The next part of this recipe for a long, happy, healthy life is to sleep at least, at least seven hours a day. Okay, I've been getting like eight hours a day lately. I don't know, I'm just not into watching TV. I just kind of read a little bit before I go to bed. Sometimes I take a bath, I turn off all my electronics. Uh, sometimes I'll just meditate. I'll put on like some music from YouTube with like a black screen. It's pretty magical, you should try it. And I sleep so well. And so it's, it's crazy how important sleep is for so many reasons. So there you go, that is my mom and my recipe for a, oh, I have one. I have to add one more thing, sorry. Another thing that we do is we, we uh, our faith is very important to us. So we pray and uh, we just really keep our faith at the core of our lives. Um, and so that is my last thing I forgot to share. So here's our recipe. What would you add to this recipe? I would love for you to share that uh, with us. You could even text us. Uh, when you go to our podcast episodes, it says text us. And so you could do that. I would love to hear what you would add to this recipe. And maybe I'll do another five minute fix adding what you have shared. That would be so much fun. So I hope this helps you. Uh, here's the thing though, my mom is 82. She looks amazing. She's super healthy. She has the best energy. Follow her recipe and then you could feel the same. I want that for you. All right, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I went a little over, but you're used to that. All right, I'll talk to you later and I'll see you on the next episode.